guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a care guide on the Keyhole Cichlid. They are a relatively small and docile cichlid and they have a ton of personality. Really excited to talk through this one, but as always, please take a second and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and let's dive right in. So the keyhole cichlid is a beautiful, smaller cichlid that has some really unique traits. They aren't as common in the hobby as they should be in our opinion, as they are very rewarding fish to keep. They get their name from the black spotting on their body that can look a little bit like a keyhole. They have a black stripe down their eye, and when they're young they'll be tannish brown coloration. As they grow they get more yellowish color in their body and in their fins. My keyhole here is about 9 months old and is already starting to get some of that darker yellow tint to his body. Keyholes aren't known to be very aggressive, especially when you're comparing to other cichlids that are out there. My electric blew a car in this tank isn't known to be aggressive either, but it actually nipped up this keyhole's tail some when they were first introduced. This is about 5 months ago and it's calmed down since but the keyhole's tail is almost fully healed and you'll see some markings a bit on the tail there. They are a good option for a planted tank as they enjoy the additional cover that the plants will provide and they won't eat all of the plants either. They're known to be shy and sometimes get splotchy black coloration in their body if they're stressed or if they're competing for food or if you just turn on your lights. Just give them plenty of areas to retreat to and they'll do really well. They are South American cichlids that come from rivers and basins starting in the Colombia and Venezuela areas and then go throughout most of Northern South America. Due to this they need a heater and they do well in the upper 70s with softer water and a lower pH. My tank here is right at 78 degrees with relatively hard water, but this guy has done really well. In my opinion, they do best with slower moving water, so be careful with powerful filters or water pumps as they kind of slowly swim throughout your tank. They grow about 4 to 5 inches, with males being slightly bigger with more pointed dorsal fins. Kind of hard to tell when they're young, but as they mature you might start to see the differences. Growth rate is fairly slow, which makes a lot of sense with that maximum length. My keel here has grown from about an inch to a little over two inches in eight months. Because they are on the smaller side and docile, they go well with fish that are also even tempered. mine with black and electric blue acaras. Some severums and geophagus could also do well, as long as they aren't too much bigger than the keyhole when they're first introduced. Other small cichlids like the ram could do well. Quarry cats are an ideal tank mate, as well as some of the larger tetras. I think one of the best tank mates is the angelfish. They have similar tank parameters and requirements and they're also both slow swimming and docile cichlids. I just think they're a great pair. I really like the combination of angelfish, keyholes, maybe some quarry cats, and even a pleco would be awesome in that tank. I would recommend against the more aggressive cichlids such as the Jack Dempsey, Oscars, Midas, Jaguars, or even Green Terrors. They might get along with some fire mouse and convicts if your tank is large enough, but we just wouldn't recommend it. Just make sure the tank mates are suitable from an aggression standpoint, but also with the water parameters. Keyholes are omnivores and they aren't picky eaters, so your usual cichlid pellets and flakes will work just fine. 
And they also enjoy brine shrimp and blood worms as a treat, just to be mixed in occasionally. From a tank setup perspective, I would recommend setting up a biotope similar to their natural habitat, which would be sand bottoms, driftwood, rocks, and even some leaf matter. Tank size is debatable because you may be able to get away with a 29 gallon, but I would recommend a 40 breeder at minimum. I always think that the bigger the tank, the better, as it's going to provide a better living environment for your keyhole, especially if you're going to have other fish in the tank, maybe even more than one keyhole. Keyholes will pair up and lay eggs on flat surfaces. They're fairly easy to breed once you do have that pair formed which is born for life. They're really good parents, but even when they're protecting, they're usually gentle about it. Some cichlids are much more aggressive when they're in their breeding state, but keyholes I've seen even gently push other fish away from them. Overall, they're just a very docile cichlid, and that's kind of what makes them great. And that does it for the care guide on the keyhole cichlid. We hope you enjoyed this or found this useful. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing down below, hitting that like button, or even hitting that notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. We really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next week.